Hello and welcome back to Lotus Yoga and Counseling. I know it's been a hot minute since I posted a video, but I went on a conference and then I jumped right back into counseling and then I got sick for like two weeks. So this video for today is something I'm super excited about. If you've been on this channel for any length of time, you know that I'm not an art therapist per se, but I do like to use crafting and other creative modalities in my work and in my personal life for self-care. And today I have Daphne's Diaries 2023 Advent Calendar to show you. I just got this today. I've already looked through it to make sure that it didn't get <clears throat> damaged, either uh, as a fault of my own or through customs, because this took almost a month to get here from the Netherlands. So I am going to flip the camera around. It's probably one of the easier ways to show you what's in here. And I'm super excited to do some separate videos coming up where I show how I utilize the stuff that's in here. So let's get started. Here is this beautiful advent calendar. So one of the reasons why I shelled out for this was because it's made of hard cardboard. It's usable for the whole year. So as you can see, it's not a design for just Christmas time. This is any time. And I love that you can secure it. You can keep it shut. Unfortunately, these doors don't stay open, but I, I guess I can't really expect that from a cardboard advent calendar. So um, I will put down the phone here in a second to show you, like to take all these things out. But what's cool is, I wonder if I can just keep this open somehow. I don't know. Anyway, but if you want to use this later throughout the year, all you do is turn around the box. That way you can get rid of all the numbers. And you can just have, and you there's a space to write what's in it. So, without further ado, I am going to show you what's in all these fun little boxes. There's more down here. Okay, I managed to find some paper clips, and that is how we're keeping the cupboard doors open. We are going to go through this. My husband was like, "Why are you opening it now?" But here's the thing. The advent calendar itself is something you can use all year round, but the contents are Christmas related. So I didn't want to wait until Christmas to open up a bunch of Christmas things. Then what was I going to do with it? So I will show you why I'm opening it now. Because it's Christmas related. This is a memory game. Very cute. And the, the back, all the backs look like this and then you've got Christmas pictures little angels I should mention this is not a religious um, advent calendar in any way so you could get this for a crafting person who is not in any way affiliated with any kind of religion what number is this one I think this one's backwards this one, there are a couple of them. Oh, this was two. Okay. There are a couple of them that don't come out too easily, but it's okay. This is a little recipe book. All the pages look the same. I honestly don't know that I would use this though, because these lines are so close together, but who knows? Maybe I will. Maybe I'll just write on it at whatever size I want. Number three. Number three is cool. I love stickers. And I really like these ones. These are ones you could use to like close an envelope. If you're sending your Christmas cards, which we are going to do after we get back from Disneyland next week. There's another one of those skates. This one you could kind of use any time of year. Same with this one, ballerina. This one, let it snow. I can't stand driving in the snow, so I don't know that I would use that one. It comes in a little box. 
Apologies if anything is ever out of view of the camera, because I don't usually put my camera right in front of me and open things like like this. Uh, four. These are so cool. They're paper clips. Literally. It's made of cardboard. They're paper clips. I can't imagine. I mean, they're this is really thick cardstock. So I imagine you could fit quite a few pages in between these paper clips, but at the same time, I'm sure it's rippable, like pretty, it's not super hardy, but there's number four. Number five is washi tape. Love washi tape. Six. Okay, this is one of those reasons why I wanted to open this now, is because a lot of what is in here are ornaments. So you get the pre-cut string, and then actually, let's see, I think these ones are 3D. So you go like, wait, are there some that don't have the thing in it? You go like this? Like this? Hold on. Like that? Maybe? I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure that out off camera. But very pretty ornaments. All These ones are all the same. And it is easy to put these things back in here. And slip it right back in. Number seven is a pad of paper. Not sticky notes, by the way, but just as useful for journaling. Maybe just leaving a note for someone. more journaling or maybe writing lists. So there are lines on the back and on the front, little designs on them. Here's a different design. So there are a few of those in there. These are bullet journals for each season. How beautiful. So the winter one, and actually it says it's a bullet journal, it's blank. So you could probably do whatever you want with it, but really pretty designs. There's 10. Oh, by the way, I didn't have to assemble any of this. This came um, already pre-assembled. Magnets that are Christmas related. Although I guess maybe not necessarily. No, this one is. And you get the deer on the presents. A burb with presents. Really cute bird with snow globe. Oopsie. So those are just little magnets. A ribbon. I actually haven't opened this one yet to see what the full ribbon looks like. But you know, looking at this advent calendar now, it could be really helpful for sorting things like sewing notions, like buttons and ribbons and zippers, different types of pins, that kind of thing. But, oh, cute. Just a little truck. Could make a good bow on the tree, mayhaps. So 
there's 11. Okay, this, I think these are stencils. If someone else thinks something different, like, oh, I know what that is, let me know because I think they're stencils because these bits pop out and then you're left with this really, these really beautiful pieces of cardstock. And I guess you would use them as stencils, right? I don't know what else you would do with them. This one is like a ice skate. Yeah, because like, what are you going to do with this afterward? So, so that's an interesting one. Rocking chair, ornament. If somebody else thinks, oh no, I think that's something else and here's what it would be. I would love to know what your opinion is. There wasn't a list of contents that came. I don't think so. I don't think there was a list of contents that said this is what these things are. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, hold on. Look at these ornaments. Oh, and they're double-sided. So if they get turned over on the tree, it's you can still see the ornament. And they came pre-hung pre, pre um, hung up, so that's helpful. But not all of these came that way. So some of these will require a little bit more work, which is fine. There's 13. Here's 14. Okay, this is one that I think is really neat. My husband and I are throwing a Christmas party, or like a, actually we're calling it a holiday hoopla, um, in a couple of weeks. And I thought this would be a super neat thing to leave out, like on, on a table or something with some coloring tools and let people just color this in. Wouldn't that be so fun? I mean, it's, this is an involved piece of art to color in, but we're having quite a few people come to our party, so I think we might be able to get a good start on it. So there's number 14. Fifteen. These, I'm certain are little tree stands like a 3d tree stand so you punch these out and then yeah and then these ones have different punches on them and here's one up top actually Oh, wait, I think the whole thing, the, all of this, all, all these parts go together? Or is this for a separate tree? Oh, I want to play with that because, whoop, yeah, I'll play with that later. More videos to come with how I actually use this stuff. So 15, here's 16. This is probably one of my favorite ones. This is a super cool, big, connected, like, garland of nutcrackers that stand on their own. So I'm guessing you would use this to maybe dress up a mantelpiece, or maybe you could hang it across a wall. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I love it. I love nutcrackers. I think they're really funny. Some more ornaments and actually I just realized they're all the same yeah so little bunt cake on one side and rocking horse on the other very cute they, they're kind of like the patterns kind of remind me of like a contemporary more modern like Victorian Christmas style and I love Victorian things so that is probably one of the reasons I'm so attracted to Daphne's diary in general these again look like they're ornaments that are 3D because you can take part of it out and then I guess you would go like this. But I can't really figure out where where you would put the loop for the 
do you string the loop through these hole like the hole I don't know it's curious but I'm open to figuring that out because we're actually going to have two trees this year one of them is a tree that we had when we lived in an apartment it's only four feet tall and um I really want a real one this year since we're in a house and we have room for a bigger tree. So we needed more, more ornaments and that works out really well. This is a little booklet. Very cute. You could easily just stick this in your purse or backpack or whatever and use it for drawings, sketches, shopping lists, that kind of thing. All right, what are we at? 20? 20. These are so precious. These are um, two-sided ornaments that have poems on them. One of them was really, really sweet. Don't think about tomorrow. It is so far away. Enjoy your precious moments and live your life today. So they're all different, but on both sides, they're the same, so very smart thing to do because ornaments often turn they get turned around by you know people just walking by them or whatever pets running by them bumping into the trees so having the double-sided ornaments is really smart oh i love this this is super clever that they put this in here they're table cards like place cards for parties or christmas dinner so um, we would never use these for our family Christmas dinner. There's only five of us. It's not necessary. But I think this is a super neat idea for the party that we're throwing. Otherwise, I would never really bother with, with cards. It's like, just sit where you want. But I think it might be a fun touch. 21, 22. These, very helpful, are uh, gift labels. And there are a few different designs. Here's a tree one, one with the little robin on it, and a house, gingerbread house. So the, I, I knew one of the reasons that I bought this calendar, I don't normally buy advent calendars, but this one I knew was going to be super useful. And so far I am, I can see so many possibilities for what I would use these things for, not just the ornaments, which also, hello. Oh, sorry. I covered the bear. Look how cute the bear is. Little bear. I love bears. So there's 23. 24 is a very interesting little booklet. It's like an accordion booklet. And this, oops, sorry. This ribbon comes attached and it opens up like this, and it's completely blank on both sides. If I... Oh my god, look how beautiful this is. Just such, a, such beautiful designs. That is one of the things about Daphne's Diary products that I have really been enjoying is just the variety of the designs, the, the use of colors. Just so creative. So... That's a fun thing to have. Doesn't take up much room. Again, you could slide it in your purse and use it for whatever. So I'm pretty sure I got all of them. I I thought that last time too. I was like, I think I missed something, but I'm pretty sure I got them all. Let me know if I didn't. But yes, so I will do another video where I actually put these ornaments together and um, utilize them. But... For now, you can just close up these little doors. These latches are also cardboard. This is, it's kind of shaped like a grandfather clock, which is neat. And this is what it looks like. It stands very well on its own. It's very sturdy. I am very happy with this purchase. Um, after taxes, and shipping and all that was said and done. I think I paid $120 in American dollars. This was a product from the Netherlands, so it did take about four weeks to get to me. It got stuck in customs for a little while in California, but 
it was really worth the wait and really worth the price. If you're considering gifting something like this for somebody this Christmas, I would get it absolutely right now if it's not already sold out because it's going to take a while to get to them. But this was a really good purchase and I am so excited to show you more things from this advent calendar and I hope to be posting more videos soon. And thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!